Hello, welcome again. My name is Angel Lunda and this is the ATD YouTube channel in English. Today I'm going to deal with the 48 volts uh, system in a mild hybrid. I have here an alternator generator, the SG starter generator. S SG uh, is easy to, to pronounce. And here I have a, a 48 volts battery. Okay, uh, this system is used in uh, nowadays uh, vehicles and is used to help the engine to reduce the consumption of fuel. It's used in diesel and petrol engines. What is the idea? The idea is that this battery, the 48 volts battery, not always is a 48 uh, volts uh, battery, sometimes another uh, value. This battery is, uh, is going to supply the energy for the starter generator, the SG. Okay, but the thing here is that we need to know, we have to know that the energy that is stored in this battery is free. I mean, when we decelerate or even when we brake the pedal, when we want to reduce the speed of the vehicle, uh, the system, the control unit that supervises this system is going to uh, take the advantage to reduce the, the, the speed and in that moment the generator works hard, supply a lot of amps to recover, to recharge the battery. So while you are braking, while you are decelerating, the uh, alternator is charging the battery as fast as uh, it can. Okay? So that energy is free in case uh, you don't, if you don't brake or if you don't decelerate, uh, some is very uh, unusual, uh, the energy in this battery uh, becomes from the engine of the car which supply the movement for the pulley to recharge the battery. But that is not the, uh, the idea, the idea is to uh, safe energy free. A vehicle, a hybrid vehicle, recharge uh, batteries free, free energy, okay? While regenerating, uh, braking, or uh, where you decelerate, okay? So it's very important to know that hybrid vehicles um, use the uh, speed of the vehicle, the car. To recharge the battery, okay, uh, and then that amount of energy, free energy. Remember, free energy that is stored in the battery will be used to help the engine to rise the RPM. For example, to crank the engine. Uh, zero RPM to idle speed in the start and stop function or even in the e-boost function which uh, supply uh, energy to the pulley of uh, the starter generator to uh, help the engine to rise the RPM. I mean it's like when you are pushing your gas pedal, the free energy that you recover before is sending to the uh, starter generator to move the pulley and help the engine to rise the RPM. That is called the E-electric or electronic boost. It's like a electric or electronic turbocharger, you know, it's an, uh, a help and the thing is that if I can help 
the engine to rise its RPM, then the engine use less fuel than without this system. Do you know what I mean? So if I can uh, recharge free energy, then I will use it for reduce the fuel that the engine need to rise the RPM. For that reason, mild hybrid are very common nowadays because it's not high voltage. We are not using more than 60 volts and in the other hand we are reducing the fuel so that means that we are reducing the emissions and that is the goal of manufacturers so this uh, electric starter uh, and generator is connected this is a 48 volt starter generator it's a special starter generator because it needs an inverter and a double uh, pulley for the tension of the, um, the belt is connected to a 48 volts battery which has a positive and a negative pole we have here in this part remember orange do not touch without a uh, personal uh, protective uh, equipment without without gloves glasses and uh, shoes okay remember orange don't touch if you don't have the correct or the properly uh, training okay this is serious so we need to know what to uh, touch and how to touch it okay so this uh, positive the b plus uh, pole is connected to the uh, um, positive of the battery the negative of the battery is connected to the chassis ground so the uh, alternator generator has a negative pole to the chassis ground so we have here two different poles positive and negative okay we can use the chassis ground for connected because it's less than 60 volts remember that so but every car all of the car in the market has a 12 12 volt volt uh, battery the auxiliary battery okay sorry about my english but i'm sure that you understand me this is the positive and the negative which is connected to the chassis ground and this is the auxiliary battery the 12 volts battery that every car has sometimes is uh, lead acid lead the common uh, AGM or gel and sometimes it's uh, ion lithium technologies but it's not possible to connect this pole positive with a 48 alternator because it's so much difference of voltage so we need to use an LDC LDC lower DC DC converter which reduce the 48 volts to 14 approximately 14 volts okay so this is the uh, new component in cars uh, many people don't know about this new system even we need to learn about how to test this uh, system because the voltage here where uh, uh, while it is charging is not uh, a common value is very different from the typical 12 volts alternator okay so 
it's very important guys that today cars are changing cars now are complex they has uh, they have lot of technology and we as a professional we need to learn lot of things new concepts new procedures new values new techniques you know so if you are working in cars with hybrid mild hybrid uh, plug-in hybrid electric diesel new engines even in the in the car the ac system the brake the comfort and there are a lot of things in the car you need to be uh, trained by professionals because uh, when you have a failure in the car it's very important to know how it works to repair it so hopefully this uh, very short uh, video helps you to know more about this technology and um, if you need more information visit our web page uh, this year we want to make uh, a training here in Malaga in the south of Spain to uh, about uh, hybrid technology and electric so pay attention on, the, on this training we will uh, advise you in YouTube so thank you so much uh, I, I will try to record more videos but the thing is that we don't have time we uh, train we deliver training um, we uh, offer technical support for uh, professionals so sometimes it's very difficult to find the moment to record a video so uh, I'm going to uh, find the moment to continue uh, recording more videos in English and in Spanish so thank you for watching see you